muscle. Okay. <laughs> Just once. I'm gonna get so. it, I guess. Okay, question, uh, homework. Homework. Oh, I need to go to the text. So, yes, please. according to the root text on verse 129, who is the teacher referring to as them? And what is the necessary prerequisite for them to start taking suffering and transforming it? Transforming it into bliss. Them is bodhisattvas. Yeah. And what is the prerequisite? No. But they've mastered the no, 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 stages of the long rim. The, uh, yes. the paths shared. Mm. The first. The first, you, two. the first two stages. And uh, what is the teacher talking about when he mentions this in the same verse? Mm. And this. Mm. Oh, oh, look at the light. The deer, right? This world. The world of darkness. This world. Yes. This world. world. This world. This world. Oh, this poison is uh, crappy situations or frustrating people. This world. It's really transforming things. World of darkness. Yeah. Is that. Uh, yeah. What is it? Where you can arc transforms. Yeah. No. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Basically, it says that these things into beautiful. Um, uh, a world where you can practice the secret teachings. Inside. Yeah. 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 Day to day. Mm -hmm. ah. Okay. Cool. Then, assuming you are at the stage where you can start transforming your troubles and negativities, <coughs> what is the first thing you should start transforming, and why? Attachment, desire. Exactly. Yeah. Desire. And because why? It's easier. Because yeah, it's easier. Yeah. It's more prevalent in your mind. It's easy to have an older time. Get. Yeah. 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 Older <laughs> time. It started off by saying this world of desires. And it's hard to, yeah. to <laughs> And it's hard to know this when you have it. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, cool. Nice. nice. You were listening. <laughs> it's so difficult to understand <laughs> when you have it. <laughs> and we have lots of desires and, and and we fool ourselves about our desires. We don't know we have them. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> and three vocabulary <laughs> words. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Age of the generation. Uh-huh. Or the drag. Days of the drag. No, the gap of It was the when when he was talking about all your desires and it says all the way down to oh, yeah. a cup of tea or chai. chai. It was it was chai. chai. Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> and Lamdu Kier. Transforming things on the path into something, bad things on the path into something good. Mm -hmm. uh, no, it doesn't mean that. The path here means oh, to turn a problem into a path. Lamdu oh, Kierwa. Okay. okay. Not Lam Kierwa. Uh, yeah. Is that the Dengi case? No. It is. It is. Yeah, it's it is. It is. Yeah. Making problems. Okay. Call the particle. Cool. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So the argument is it takes a level of spiritual maturity to be able to transform problems into opportunities. So probably on a lower level you try to block those problems and try to make sure they don't ever touch you. 
and as a higher level of spiritual maturity, you're, you're uh, embracing them and making them something cool. Are you done? Mm -hmm. Nice. Yeah, Nikdu is good. Oh. Sorry. What's the literal meaning of nigma? Good. Yeah, in T. Yeah. Demonstrate. Yeah. And there's a very rare word called nigma nga doa. B r d o a. It means the spread of. The spread of. The spread of degeneration in in the in the last days of. Of people, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <coughs> BRDO. Nyingma. Oh, Nyingma is the dregs. Right. Okay. We're going to do a new experiment, which is me eating while I teach. actually have tried this again. I'm going to see how much ends up on Ben Kramer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Maybe you're going to retain more than yesterday. <laughs> 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 okay, who's not eating? No Word, you have the plane. Okay. We need a screen. Oh. Sorry? We Take control of oh, the duh. other plane. What do you say? Movies, items. TV shows, items. Mm -hmm. Today's movie day at school. Uh, who's got the plane? Word. Word has the plane. Okay. I want to hear some correction. You're not correcting. <laughs> and I want, you got to correct him loud. You got to interrupt him and irritate him. I'm trying to take away that karma. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're, you're, you're to the wrong place. place. <laughs> this problem is embraced. Pernat Sanjo. Perna. Perna. Sanju de Yang. Maja. Maje Sona Chung Chung Parin Yu Wain Mo Kang De Gutsen Gutsen Jujana Jena 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 No, it's not an English J. It's not an English J. Jena Jena Jene Jarogi So Sona Sona Sunan Chir, Warngyur, Guadang, Sumpa Yinsu. Sumpa. Sumpa Yinsu. Pena? For example, Pecha? Pecha? Scripture. Scripture. So the word Pe can mean example or it can mean scripture, so be careful. Okay. Pena? Sendu? Poison. Arsenic. Yeah, arsenic. High, heavy poison. Heavy Sendu. metal poison. Dayang, <laughs> Maja with the instrumental. Uh, by, by the peacocks. peacocks. Yeah, by peacocks. Mm -hmm. By the way, this whole book, I don't know if Bob, you were here before. Anyway, his whole book is a very beautiful book about uh, jumping into hard situations to help other people. And why it's better than just staying quiet and enjoying your life. And the and the metaphor is the, to, a, to transform the, the poison into into a beautiful plumage. Nice, because nice. uh, according to ancient Asian tradition, the color of a peacock's feathers comes because they like to eat poison. So it's compared to a saint who takes on other people's troubles and transforms them into something of beauty rather than avoiding troubles. Okay? All right. Mm. Sena. <coughs> yeah. Sena. This is past tense of Sena. Right, as food. If they ate, if they ate. Yeah, if they eat the poison, yeah. the peacocks, chun. Uh. It it's only comes here. I've never seen it anywhere else. Fried? They can handle it. Mm. Okay, they can handle it. Chin means they can take it. Okay, they can take it. Peacocks can eat poison. Gyurwa yin. Me, me kyang. But, yeah. Nice, very hot. Very hot. Admittedly, they can. So, me after a, a clause means admittedly, peacocks can eat poisons and turn it into something good. Kyang. 
But, uh, but now something else is going to happen. Mm-hmm. They get into Cheney, and it took me a moment to figure it out. Because they did. Yeah, the crow shouldn't use it as a reason for them to eat the poison. Uh, okay, the crow shouldn't say, well, he ate it, so I can eat it. Right. And this also applies to higher practices. Uh-huh. Oh, Nick got that initiation, so I should get that initiation. Okay, like that. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. So don't, don't use other people as a reason why you should be doing difficult practices. You will hurt yourself. What's a famous example with the Buddha? Yeah, no, his half brother. Oh, that's right. Yeah, right. Okay. Was extremely jealous of the Buddha, and the Buddha took certain powerful medicines when he got sick. So the brother said, "I should take the same," and it almost killed him. So different levels, okay? They get in the chain a having seen that what the peacocks did and justifying it because of what the peacocks did, the chato, the crow, crow. The crow s- Eat it. eats, it. eats it. the same crow. poison. He'll die. And, yeah, he will die. Yeah. <laughs> okay. your future tense. Yeah. And now we see the word sung in its colloquial use. Similarly? E- equivalent. equivalent right? We said sung den right? Mm-hmm. Uh, Five well, links. links. Where did that come up recently? <laughs> I'll give you a clue. It was Stanley's text. It was Stanley's text, and it was the two parts of the definition of impurity in the world. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Are they impure because of their... Impure by association. Yeah. Okay. By focusing. Yeah. 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 Okay. Very good. I'm glad to hear you still remember. Okay, so Sung, who said Sung? Uh, maybe who said it. Oh, oh, the Buddha. Uh, by the Buddha or the teacher? Not in his or, book. Or, or our teacher. The the person person yeah, teacher good, the good. Film. Don't forget that his book is t- notes <laughs> taken on a teaching that was delivered. What year? I don't know. Uh, look at your first page. Look at your title page. Oh, around the 17th. Yeah, around, around, yeah, this teaching was given around 1800, okay? And our teacher said, okay, <laughs> sorry, our teacher <laughs> said. Oh, I thought it was funny because it was F and a bunch of symbols. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Whoa. <laughs> okay, keep going. <laughs> Who got the plane, Geshe? Oh, how about you? Shen Yang Di Da Le Tad 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 Ling Tru Chu Chu Ne De Tong La Ja Te Nam Jung Kie Luk Luk Dan De La Ang Tawa Tawa Nampardad Pashikni Pargopa Dusengi Ki Nanga Guma Padang. Let's stop there because it's going to get too long. Shenyang. Uh-huh. 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 Moreover, <laughs> Didag Lai Chu. You had a famous Didag Lai Chu in your 60 verses text. Oh boy. And it was a discussion of why there was no oh. verse of praise uh-huh. in some of Nagarjuna's books. Right. Mm. And we did it on the bus in Taiwan going from wow. Kaohsiung <laughs> to Taichung two years ago. <laughs> I remember this. <laughs> <laughs> well, think about it logically. Nagarjuna wrote six famous books. Right, mm-hmm. there's the 70 verses about emptiness, and there's the... Uh, etc. Et Just say etc. And because those <laughs> verses weren't separate works, they were extensions mm-hmm. of uh, this other main work. Good. Mm-hmm. 
they didn't need to have verses of praise, and I think Cho here is the their extension. Yeah, so good, it's, good. So it's like light rays, like. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Troa, uh, which also Troa. means joy. Mm -hmm. So Dile Cho <laughs> means uh, uh, we can extrapolate. Yeah. Okay. Oh, cool. We can extrapolate from this concept oh, about the crow and the peacock. Okay, Cho means extrapolate, Dile Cho. Cool. And we can jar it to Deton. Connect it to bliss and emptiness. Yeah, we can connect it to the tantric concepts of bliss and emptiness. Yes, okay. And in general, uh, Tantra emphasizes a partner. And in general, uh, it's that you can have deeper understandings if you have a deeply joyful relationship with another person. Okay, And that's the principle behind Deton. So De means joyful, Ton means emptiness. If you want to understand higher concepts, it's easier if you're in a very joyful relationship. Your state of mind is higher. Okay, if it's going well, okay, uh, you can actually become a better philosopher. I mean, that's the principle. And there's pranic reasons also. Okay, all right. Jarte. So he's, he's, a, he's a hot lama, you know? He's like, let's take this to Tantra. Let's take this to the concept that the, the more happy your personal relationship is with your partner, the more likely you are to see emptiness, okay? Deton la jarte, let's take it there. Let's extrapolate to that. Lam de kyaluk. The system of taking problems in the path. Yeah, but in, in, in the higher teachings, in the secret teachings, the it's can you make your marriage a path, a spiritual path? Mm -hmm. Can you make your marriage a spiritual path? Can you make your relationship lam to kir? Lam to kir. Can you transform it into a path? Okay. Lam to kir look down. De lang tawa number dark bashik. And he then he says something very adamantly. He says, if you don't have a correct understanding of who your wife is. You cannot do it. Yeah. Mm. Okay? Part, yeah. totally pure view. A totally view, pure, yeah, totally a totally pure view, view. meaning yeah, sure. you understand they're coming from your seeds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay? Meaning you understand she comes from your seeds. Yeah. Okay? You cannot succeed in a higher relationship. You cannot succeed in transforming, for example, a marriage into a higher relationship if you don't know where your partner's coming from, yeah. if you don't have this high view, okay? If you're still blaming them for your problems, uh, you cannot sustain this path. Got it? Yes. You'll get in trouble. It'll be, it'll crash. Mm -hmm. Nasty. Okay? Gotta do it. You gotta have this viewpoint. You gotta have a, a, an accurate viewpoint of who your wife is. So is the uh, redundant? Yeah. Kind of. Definitely you need yeah. to do You really it. got to. Yeah. <laughs> you really got to. Okay. <laughs> it's just in, in, in dispensable is how you can translate one, one word, that's cool. In this okay. context, does that include not right, write that down. We're coming. <laughs> indispensable. Yeah, that's right. uh, yeah. Now, what kind of viewpoint classifies as a good one? Pay attention, you two guys. <laughs> what kind of <laughs> viewpoint classifies as a young dapa? Uh, Accurate, correct. pure. Okay. okay. Yeah. Well, if you had to choose from between Ooze and Sam's. Oh. Mm -hmm. Maybe. Middle ways or wide open. Oh, good. Yeah. Really? Yeah. If you had to choose between oh, yeah. Umapa and Semtampa, mm -hmm. uh -huh. so when I say a, an accurate view of your spiritual partner, mm -hmm. what I'm talking about <laughs> is a certain view. And and are we going to take? If you ask me, you want? Are you talking? I should follow middle way view, or are you talking? I should follow mind only view with my partner. My answer to you is Umapa. Yeah. Middle way. Yeah. Go middle way. Yeah. But Gelsen J did the same thing, didn't he? Yeah. 
Because the next thing to come here is if you had to choose among the two middle way schools. Yeah. Okay, here we go. There you go. There you go. Okay, who's got the plane? You got the you got the plane. Flying with one arm. Hey. De la Yang, Tao Rang Mi, Yerpe, Nanxin, Tao, Tao Yu, Wen Du, 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 Wen Sheik means a correct view. Sheik, <laughs> Okay, uh, Tim has to Tim has to mess with my uh, connection for a second. All right. Thank you, Tim, for broadcasting. Yeah, hey, Tim. Hey. It was Tim's idea to send it down to the cafe so our food mm. is better. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 It, it it worked, by the way. Yeah. I went down there and they were so happy they could listen to everything. Yeah, I think it keeps that's the morale high. That's cool. They need to. Uh, you want to start that program, right? Yeah, I start this one, yeah, this. Let's do it this way. Uh, let's do it. Okay. She wants to apply for your translation. Mariana? Oh, cool. Okay. <laughs> because of me. Oh, good. Yeah. Thank you. This one, right? Mm. <laughs> that should have started it. I know. <laughs> one by one. That's the point. <laughs> yeah. you are connected to the right. I admin, I am. Alright, well, it doesn't work. Uh, the, the Wi-Fi stops sometimes. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Uh, the admin Wi-Fi? Yeah. It's yeah. showing up. Oh, yeah. It's off mic. It's connected, but it's not. Yeah. Is that awesome? It's a... Chela Masakpa. Chela Masakpa. It's collected. It's committed, but it's not collected. Not connected? Okay, De La Yang means uh, De La Yang means once we're already inside the middle way school, from among the middle way and the uh, mind only, right. you got two choices, Tao and Rong. Right. Mm -hmm. Tao and Gyurwa and Rong Gyupa. Okay. Uh, among those two choices, Nang Sen. Okay, among those two choices. Tell your way. Of course. Mm -hmm, you got to go higher school, Prasangika school, okay? And you should be uh, seeking their view of Tombani, mm -hmm. which just means the wife who's not coming from you. Okay, just try to keep pulling it back to your real life. Okay, it's not some philosophical thing. It's the wife who's doing stuff that's not your fault. And that's emptiness. Okay, <laughs> there's no such one. <laughs> okay, don't forget to bring it back to your real life. You know, the the one after six o'clock. <clears throat> okay, Tony Kitawa, number Dapa Shikene. You should be trying to develop uh, this kind of viewpoint if you really want to do this higher practice mm -hmm. of 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 turning your marriage into a spiritual practice. Okay, Dapa. Uh -huh. Uh, then, sung mm -hmm. means what? A combination of the two. Good, yeah. Sung. And the most famous combination of the two in Buddhism is, is happiness and, and an understanding of emptiness. Detong. Okay? Which he just mentioned. Okay? And not just normal happiness, Dewa Chambo. A spiritual level of happiness, yeah. not like good food or something like that. Okay. Jala Nyam Sun Lim. You gotta put into actual life practice these theoretical, theoretical ideas. Kyang. Lenso So Kyang. Sort Sam means 
just a touch. Third uh, time means like Chung said some. Surprising. Uh, yeah, just he gave us just a little taste of this theory uh, because he's not allowed to teach it uh, without the proper initiation, for example. So he, but he did give us a little taste. Sutam. It means the little it, it literally it's the corner. It's this little piece here. That's called sur. He gave us a sur thumb. He gave us just a little bite off the corner. Sur thumb. She got sell. He said. Yeah. This is the high, high, high honorific for he bespoke. Okay. How do we know it's past tense? S. B. B. S. B. No. It would be at the end. I don't know. Because there are two past tense arisers in ancient Tibetan, S and D. Oh, and oh, this so one's so the, the oh, right, 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 right. Yeah, and D disappeared from the written language. Right. Yeah, 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 yeah. So if you see a sentence end in to, yeah. there had to be a D in front of it mm -hmm. uh -huh. uh, a thousand years ago. Mm -hmm. So it means this helps you translate because Katzel is normally only. The verb is only o normally only used for the Buddha right. spoke. But now, since it's past tense, you can say it refers to his teacher right. in the lecture. Cool. Said that. End of third session. Right. He mm. wraps up the third session by saying, we got a little bite of this. Wow. OK. Stop session. <laughs> you know, his lama stuck. OK, let's go home. And everybody's like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Say again? No, uh, D changes to T after D. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, okay, don't worry about it. Yeah, it's a good question. It's a it's a great question. I'm surprised nobody else thought of it. But I thought I read the wish giving tree. You're not allowed to say do. Okay, I don't know why. I f there is some reason I don't remember. Okay, it's always do. Kanga dana bama kono dono bama orolo soto. Kono dono bomo or roll the There's lots of ones allowed. Okay, Chitan Shiba. Oh, you got the plane. Chitan Shiba. Katsu Shiba. 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 Lapchenta Shongyu Shongyu Wa Nanche Gangin Dang Gangin Kang Kangin Kang Kangin Dang Kang 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 Tedak Jikten Pangdang Pendang Deng Bengdang Pendang Pendang They were This plane's going like this. There's a lot of captains. I guess, I guess, I guess. You're doing great, Seiji. Yeah, you are. They were all. La chitu show, 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 uh -huh. show, show, shape, windy, single, south, south, single, nice, single, south, cup, So it's a tradition in Tibet that when the Lama is teaching, which normally went for eight or nine hours, there were no microphones. He yelled for eight or nine hours. There were rarely bathroom breaks. Uh, but they would usually start out with an inspiring verse from another scripture. So uh, he's, he's following that tradition. So the Lama who gave this talk chose a verse, okay? And, he, and they, the, the student who took the notes, which may be, as we said, is probably the Lama who uh, did the Kangyur, uh -huh. who got executed, I believe. Uh, but that's another story. Um, 
The one who gave this teaching? <coughs> who recorded it. Mm -hmm. Oh. Human tape recorder. Yeah. Uh, they, uh, it's possible it's that person. Um, since everyone in the monastery would know this ancient verse, he gives the first line and the last line. Okay, so this is the structure here in the middle. Shepa ne means from the first verse, from the first line of the verse, and then he gives the fourth line of the verse. So our Lama gave a little Tsingdao, he, he gave us a little mini commentary to kind of loosen us up for the day. He gave a mini commentary on this verse from scripture, ancient scripture, which everyone knows, and it starts with this words and goes up to this words. Okay, so I had to go and get it for you because we don't know it. Chitin Shibe Kapsu means? Uh, on the fourth day. Yeah. At the outset of the fourth day. Well, it's the fourth session, and, and we don't know if they did a sessions every day or two sessions a day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So I went and got you the whole verse. Cool. Um, the fifth Dalai Lama favored this verse. He was a great scholar, and uh, he favored this verse. So I, I also got his little mini commentary here, down here. Fifth Dalai Lama's? Fifth Dalai Lama, yeah. Or he used it in his uh, Lamrim. Okay, which is called. Uh, yeah, word of Manjushri. Yeah, that's a popular one. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So here's the original. This was written by uh, Chanda Gomi, which is one of the earliest writers that survived in India. So if you don't include the Abhidharma literature, he's kind of the, the he's in the group with Nagarjuna. Call it uh, 100 AD. Mm -hmm. 150 AD, yeah. Oh, you're talking about the other Chandagomi later. Oh, there's two of them? <coughs> it might be the... <laughs> the, letter to a, the letter to a student was around 700. I, I'm corrected. I stand corrected. Okay. Call it 750. I'm thinking, who am I thinking of? Ashwagosha. Ashwagosha. Uh, I, yeah, I apologize. Yeah. He's right. Mm -hmm. Call it later. Now, uh, I put three verses here. Uh, because we already had one of these verses, but I don't remember where. Yeah. It might have been in the Lam Rim. Third term. Or it might have been in Sage's text. Sage's text, I think. Uh, but I'm just going to read it to you quickly. Here's the verse before the verse he wants to talk about, because we did it recently, and I don't remember where. Okay. Shintu la, something easily found. Sakam ga, ga, a couple of mouthfuls of grass. Ta, chukyan, even a cow, rang yeah. nisa, yeah. will we'll eat it. Okay? Shindu kombe, if the cow is thirsty, dungbang, tormented by first, thirst, chushik nena, if he finds a little pool of water, gangur tung, with joy he will drink it. Okay, got it? Dina kebo shendun chepar, now let's talk about taking care of others first. Mm -hmm. Okay? Taking care of others first. Dinna kibu shin dun chipa tsubakayimpa to throw yourself into taking care of others first. Di jibak yinde That's the true glory of a human life. Mm -hmm. You want to be a glorious, historically glorious person? That's what makes you a glorious person. You know? That's a... That's a monumental event in history, is a person who will throw themselves into taking care of others. Cool? Pak is what you're translating as glorious? Jibak. Jibak is an ancient word for glory. CG. CG Pak. It means shining, glorious, monumentally human event in history. You want to be historical? Take care of others. Which means jump into the hard situations. Because even a cow can, can eat what's put in front of them. Like the world will bring you small pleasures. Uh, you know, if you spend all your time like a cow, and even animals can, even animals can take the small pleasures that are presented to them randomly. But it takes a saint 
to jump into the problem places, okay, and not just enjoy the small pleasures that life may, may bring them. See what I mean? Mm -hmm. And, he, and he, the commentators all say that's the difference between a human and, a, and an animal. Mm. A, a human is capable decision to take care of others when it would be less pleasant than taking care of themselves. Okay? Yeah. Cool. Recently I met a monk. Uh, he's about 40 or something. And I said, hi, nice to meet you. And he says, I know you. <laughs> and I said, well, I, I don't remember. He says, you gave a talk at my elementary school uh, 30 years ago. <laughs> I'm like, yeah? And he said, yeah, you did. And, uh, and I remember what you talked about. I said, what? He said, you asked the kids, what's the difference between, a animal, a, between a dog and a human? And one kid raised his hand and said, the tail. <laughs> 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 but, but then you explained that it was, you know, even animals could take care of themselves. It takes a human mind to say, I should take care of people other than myself. Okay. So it was kind of cool. I don't remember where it was. Anyway, that, it stuck in his mind because of the tail. Tell te pot. Okay. Jibag in de te de kibut tell te pot. If you want a higher form of the pursuit of pleasure, try this one. Taking care of other people first. Mm -hmm. Is that pot exalted? Yeah. yeah. Oh. This means higher form of pleasure. Mm -hmm. okay. okay. You want to pursue pleasure? That's fine. Go for the best one. Mm -hmm. Take care of others. Cool. Okay. Now he gets to the verse that the Lama used to open the fourth session. Okay. So we're going to go for that one. You ready? Mm -hmm. Did you? Now you got to read the whole thing. <laughs> you did the first and the fourth line. Now you got to do them over. Okay. This verse. Oh, who's got the plane? Uh, Utpala, I want to take the plane. Okay, drive carefully. Nima, Lachen, Ta Shungyu. By the way, use the use the stuff in parentheses because I corrected the carving. Okay. It's not, there's no English G here. Now it is good. Okay, cool. Cool. All right, here we go. Nima? <laughs> you know Lap Chen? Big wave. Uh, yeah. Big wave meaning? Like effic more efficacious. Yeah, great. Uh, you're, something happened to your brain. Uh, no you take it. <laughs> yeah, now you can focus. <laughs> yeah, don't worry. Lap <laughs> Chen. <laughs> yeah, so Lap Chen literally means big waves. But what? What was? Do you remember Rinpoche's classic? I learned it's Tibetan. The difference between a sight and a, a oh. yeah, the difference between a hand sickle and a harvesting machine. Lapchen means more, more effective, more powerful, a million times more powerful. Lapchen. Uh, ta. Uh, horse. Shun. Beautiful. Uh, uh, to, ride. <laughs> to ride, to ride. With a G, it means younger. Yeah, that's right. Oh, yeah. With a B, it means to ride. Okay. So Tashin, Yua means to course Plan planetary bodies, heavenly bodies. Oh, okay. the, their movement across the sky is called Yua. Oh, beautiful. Running, uh, coursing. Uh, a racetrack is called a Gyuktu. Okay. So Yua. 
And Nangche is a is an ancient uh, poeticism for the sun. It means the light bulb of the world, Nang, the illuminator. Okay, the one who lights up the world. Okay, so planetary heavenly bodies in ancient kavya, Sanskrit poetry, they often have nicknames. Okay, and one of the nicknames for the sun is. Uh, Tadun, uh, because it was believed that the sun coursed across the heavens, carried on a chariot, mm -hmm. led by seven horses. Saptashva, 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 seven horses. Okay. Sometimes it was called the seven horses, Saptashva. Okay, but it was carried on a chariot carried on a wagon across the sky by seven horses, okay? So it was called the Dashan. Uh, yeah, the horse. The horse rider. Horse rider. Okay, so the, the very powerful sun, super powerful thing in our world, energy, which is the sky riding the horses and illuminates the world, the light of the world, okay? Kang Yin Dang, think about the sun. First example, now second example. Kurla mitek. Kur means what you're carrying on your back, like if you're a donkey or you're a horse, okay? It's in the one day vow. Kur porwa. You guys translated it. Kur porwa. Our hearts are called kur porwa. Load carriers? They, 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 yeah, they, they, dumped off, they dumped off the load. Kur porwa. Of suffering, right? You want to go sexist, uh, kur is the Sanskrit word for a wife. Bertha, Bertha, Bertha. Maybe Bertha comes from that, I don't know. But Bertha means that which is born under great duress. The expenses and trouble. In the, okay, sorry. Anyway, so anyway, Nangje Kangi by Kurla. Meat tech, tech means stacked up one across mm -hmm. the other. Mm -hmm. It comes in the Vinaya. Anybody can tell me where? Monk's house. Not stacked. Is that sex? Like trick? Or? Building house? Oh. Nice. Explain. Oh, yeah. You're not allowed to put. Well, there's several. There's yeah. so, oh, so many to layers of bricks. More than yeah, three the or four layers of straw on the roof. No. If you're building a wall, you can also make like five la layers of. Yeah, uh, it's a monk's vow not to lay more than three courses of brick on a wall in a day because they tend to fall down and kill people. Oh. Okay, so that's sick. It's more of a mason now. Yeah. 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 <laughs> so, I have not building your cabin, actually. <laughs> so who is, who is it that has the load of humans stacked up on its shoulders. The earth. The earth, good. Uh, okay? Ready? Uh, yeah, you're cheating. Sorry. Uh, who is it that has the, the world stacked up on its shoulders? That, sorry, humans, mankind. Me. Me, tech. Who's got the world stacked on their shoulders? It's the sa, the, the earth. Okay? And it dekpas the whole jikten. It holds up the whole world. Yeah, dekpa is going to come in the definition of kawa. Okay. That supports. And tekpa comes from that. Like the way. Mahayana. Yeah, the way. Great capacity. You see? So it's holding up. So the sun works all day, lights up the whole planet. The earth on, on the other side is holding up everybody. Okay? Rangdun Game, and they're not doing it for themselves uh -huh. mm -hmm. at all. Game. Yeah. Okay, got it? You see the image that's coming? Yeah. They're not like, how great am I? Yeah. Wow, well, look, I'm lighting up the whole world. I'm holding up the whole world. They don't like tell people how great they are. Yeah. They just do it. Yeah. Okay, it's so beautiful. Mm -hmm. it's a, uh, that's why I said we should translate this. We should find a counter and we should translate this. Game uh, Chembonam. That's big. That's big. And he's talking about Dagni Chembos. Mahatma, big people. Big, and he's talking about big bodies of. big celestial bodies. You know, this is big. This is bigness. That's a big person. What? 
Hold up the whole world, don't complain. Illuminate the whole world, don't take credit. Okay? It's a very beautiful image because a bodhisattva is supposed to be doing those two things. Okay? Cool? Mm -hmm. uh, big people are like these two things. Okay? What? Shol. It's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful word. It means to lose yourself in, a, in, a concept, in an idea or a mission or, a, a, you know, forget yourself. You're so focused on this mission that you, uh, it, it has, uh, it, it re it's the word used for what rivers do to the ocean. Mm -hmm. Oh, because they blend in? And they lose themselves in the ocean. Wow. It's a beautiful word. These yeah. rivers just pour themselves, into pour themselves into it, and they lose themselves in the ocean. Cool. Bodhisattvas lose themselves in helping yeah. and trying to make happy the whole world. Cool. They show, they lose them, they forget themselves. They lose themselves in this idea, okay? Cool. And then he, on top of that, he says, roll la chick. Like in one song, like in a Yeah, song. a single song, ekarasa. Yeah, ekarasa. They lose themselves in the single song called, oh. let me help others. Mm -hmm. They lose themselves in the single song of, may I help others. It's really beautiful. It is. Yeah. Okay. It's really Where? It's not taste here. No. Uh, it never was taste. It's a um, okay. single point. <laughs> they're, only, they're really only interested in one thing. Yeah. Okay. And that was misspelled, and that was fun to figure out. But they're all that. It's the only one that's stuck. They were all wrong to be like. Play, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I'm gonna leave the third verse for some other day. Okay. Uh, we might hit it in this text because people seem to like But the third verse says these people are real menches. What's Tibetan for mensch? Kibu. Kibu. Okay, they are real kibus. They are real men. We had kibu before in her text. We had kibu as male. Kepa, right? Yeah, okay. All right, uh, here's the dictionary entry. I underlined it for you for your footnote. Yiddish. It's a language from New York. No, kind of. If you're interested, here's the name of the seven horses. Seven horses? Yeah. Nun. Yeah. Wow. Okay, Nun, what's Nunja mean? Nunja. Uh, it's in your text as expression. Right. Nun means Nunja. Oh, poeticism. Yeah, poeticism. Okay. So when the dictionary gives a poeticism, seven horser, uh, it means the sun. It's a definition of, of well, he gives oh, it as an example. Santa Claus? But he, he gives the seven horses names, <laughs> and then he says, this is so famous Maybe. that uh, sometimes sun is used for the number seven. So there are, are you like in points. Chinese, you do this? Yeah. Six. Six. Seven. 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 This is for uh, bargaining, right? <laughs> bargaining between dialects. That's eight. Yeah. This is three. And <laughs> anyway, there's secret words in Buddhism <laughs> for numbers. Oh. Yeah. And the sun is number seven. <laughs> because of the seven horses. Cool. Okay. Got it. Then I went and got you the Sanskrit just so you could look smart in your footnote. Sapta Ashva. Sapta Ashva. Pay attention. Sapta Ashva. Hello. Huh? You went fast. This is the Sanskrit. Tadun. Sapta Ashva. Sapta Ashva. Here's the fifth Dalai Lama's treatment or his quotation of the same verse and I'm not going to go there it's, it would go on forever okay uh, anyway he's just saying this load okay all right who's got the plane Adam if I give you the plane you
You're not going to talk to Nick. Okay, go. Jang Chup Sam, Yang Chang Chup Sam, Panam, Shendo, Shendun, Je, Chepa, Lat Kyongya, Mepa, Nima, Dang Sa Chim, Po Dang, Su Tzu, Su Tzu. Good. Um, just a just something you should know when you're translating a, a record of a teaching. The word "tzu" at the end of a sentence means he told us how. Okay, so it's an idiom. It's an idiomatic use of "tzu" in a written record of a lecture. Okay, so at the end of a sentence means he described to us how, and then whatever comes before. So just understand that when you see tool in a record of a teaching, it means he told us how, and then here's what he told us how. He told us how Chanju Sembas, Chepa, Ju, Shenden, Serving others, others. The, the goals of others, yeah. what others need, the needs of others. Mm -hmm. They carry out the needs of others. Me, and without, without. Kyowa and Nyawa. Uh, without so, pride, uh, tired pride or Kyuktopang, tantric Shoot. vow. Kyukdopang. means to throw up. What's Kyukdopang? Never tired. Kyowa means discouraged. Yeah, yeah, never discouraged. Okay. Uh, and Nyawa. Nyawa means got tired. Nyalso gyap is the modern word for take a nap. Take your rest. Nyalso gyap. That's the so and so zone, by the way. So it means refresh yourself. Fix your tiredness. Fix your tiredness, yeah. So, mepa. They never get discouraged. They never think it's gross. They never get tired. Okay? Uh, it was, in that way, they are said our described our lama. In that way, they are tsung to the nima. They're same as the sun. And the sa. And the earth. Chembo, the great earth. Okay. So he said he described how tsu. He described how bodhisattvas because they never get tired, and they never get discouraged. Then they're the same as. The sun and the earth. They don't ever say this is too heavy today, or this is too many people to light up. <laughs> they just do it without talking about it. <laughs> They're always there, dependable, and that that a, a, a bodhisattva should be like that. Okay, got it? Got it? Cool, right? Yeah, very cool. You're at time. Are we out of time? Okay. Your text is really. Po poetic, and it's weird because he's probably the most poetic writer in the group. So it's kind of nice that uh, it's kind of nice that we have him on this book. What a coincidence! Okay. <laughs> Thank you for thanking me and thank you for making us do this text.